My character that I play is called Frank, and um, he's we sort of thought about him as a clown with an ice pick. So on, on one sense, it's very naive, kind of um, innocent quality, but also the ability to switch on a dime and become the most terrifying um, creature. Um, he's got a penchant for ladies' clothing. He, um, he plays by his own rules. I think he's probably been out in the desert too long. I think his mind has started to become sand in certain areas. And, um, you know, he, uh, he's a strange little fish um, from, a, from what pond, I'm not quite sure, but he's um, had strange ingredients in his life that's made him what he is today. And uh, it was very fun to play. Fantastic, amazing cast, you know, amazing team behind the whole project. And, you know, each department were just world class at, at what they do. So we had William Fitchner, who was the head of our gang, who's an amazing, character he created and um, you know when you read it you you see this you see a character and it's all it's all in there in the script and then you you see what he turns up with and it's developed and, and grown and become weirder and <laughs> uh, scarier um, so that was great it was great it was, it was good being part of a baddie gang um, and and everyone across the whole board was just just a, a, a privilege to work with really it was great I think what I mean it was amazing to travel around, to see that part of the world, to be doing a creative endeavour, but also to be, your mind to be opening up by seeing all these different landscapes and to be working um, in such beautiful uh, parts of the world, um, uh, the incredible history and the very places where all of these stories, where, you know, when you're doing your research and you're reading about these canyons that um, people got hijacked in or, you know, all these different stories, we're in parts of that territory, you know, so, um, it felt amazing to to do all the preparation, to to read about all the, the the world of it, and then to actually be doing it there rather than in a studio. Um, and hopefully, some of the the essence of 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 the the landscape comes through into the film, and um, and that you know comes through. I was out in America um, because I wanted to try and get a part in an American film, and. Uh, so I put my, went into a casting and put myself on tape and uh, shoved a toothpick in my mouth and um, gave it my best weird little cowboy and um, that was gladly enough. Yeah, I mean, just it, it's one of those things that when you're growing up must have been some sort of inspiration behind, you know, um, behind wanting to do this you know, as a career. It, it's playing cowboys and Indians in the garden. It's, it's, it's one of the sort of primary things that I think we all play as children, you know, and so for that to be transferred but into an adult context and to, onto, to this scale, it's just like the best version of make-believe you could uh, imagine. Well, yeah, I mean, it reminds you of those, those westerns, but also they're all, a lot of the place, you know, it's very sacred to the Native American Indians, so, um, so it was a mixture of cultures that we were, that we were, that, you know, in the, the geography that we're working in, um, it's just a privilege to be work, working in that in that part of the world. And um, even though they weren't sets, they were real. There was moments where you're stood in Monument Valley and you think, "Is this real? <laughs> Is this a set? Like it looks like Mars. You know, it's it's like a completely another world. You know, these thin little spikes, red spikes coming up out of the ground, and huge stacks, and um, just fascinating, inspirational landscape and uh, so to be doing to be doing what you love doing but in that part of the world brilliant